grocery shopping can be quite a job. But buying brand names helps. They're like old friends you can trust, so they make shopping much easier. Now, here's a brand my family really trusts, Crystal Sugar. In my busy life, having a trusted friend like Crystal is important. Its pure sweetness never lets me down. Crystal Sugar, a name brand you can trust. No wonder it's been <laughs> round a long time. KSTP-TV, St. Paul, Minneapolis, Channel 5. I'm Bob Bruce. I'm Sharon Anderson. Coming up today on Good Company, a Good Company viewer gets a beauty makeover to get over what she calls the housewife ho homes. And Barbara Holmes will talk to actor Stuart Damon, who plays Dr. Alan Quartermain on General Hospital. And we'll have a fashion show of children's clothes that you can make at home. And our field host, Gary Lumpkin, will give us a preview of the auto show that'll be going on this weekend at the Minneapolis Auditorium. That's just ahead on Good Company. From the Twin Cities, it's Good Company. With your hosts, Steve Adelman and Sharon Anderson. And roving reporter, Gary Lumpkin. And now, Steve and Sharon. Lots of energy today. It's Friday. Yes, maybe that's why. They're looking forward to the weekend. You're a very good-looking person, but you're not Steve Adelman. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> I'm pretty sure of that one. Bob Bruce is here today because Steve is at a convention uh, for television programmers, and he's in Las Vegas working. Yes. Working. Yes, and if you believe that... <laughs> but anyway, Bob was good enough to fill in for Steve today, and it's delightful to work with you because well, I've heard... Nice. I've never, you know, what I've a nice never job you do on the show. No, and you've done it a lot while we've been gone. So now we, we may do such a good job that Steve might stay in Las Vegas for a while. Who knows? We know. <laughs> Wait, no, you're only filling in for the hour of oh, the show. I've... I got a whole weekend ahead of me, and I don't think you're going to be around for that, right? No, no. No, you've got your own... No, no, we're going to be busy this weekend. Uh, KSTP is very proud, once again, to uh, have the Lions Telethon for hearing. On, on our station, which starts at 9 o'clock Saturday night and continues on through 5 o'clock Sunday to raise money for the Lions 5M Hearing Center. It's a very good cause. I'll be hosting it along with Marsha Fleur. We have uh, Peter Marshall of Hollywood Squares fame, uh, Shields and Yarnell. You may have heard of them, mm -hmm. the Miami, and a lot of other great talent. So it'll be a super show, and it starts at 9 o'clock Saturday night. So I want everybody to join me and... We'll raise a little money. You're going to be working 9 o'clock Saturday night all the way through till 5 p.m. on no, Sunday? No, actually, I'll be working from 9 o'clock Saturday till 2 a.m., and then What's Gary that? Lumpkin, field host from Good Company, will be coming in and doing the night shift, so to say, and then I'll be coming back at noon on Sunday and working to 5. That's still a lot of hours. No, my, see, my wife won't let me out of the house that late. So. <laughs> I see, you have to report yes. in. Okay. Let me read your letter. We're going to start out today with our Good Company beauty makeover, and uh, the person who wrote in to us, I'm going to read you her letter right now. Her name is Jan Ashley, and she wrote, I'm 29 years old, I have two children, and I'm a full-time mom. The reason I want a makeover is because I have a good case of the, quote, housewife ho-hums. She said, I'll be very cooperative. I have big blue eyes. That I can't seem to get the right highlighting, and I'd even be ready for a color change. Please help Jan Ashley of Mound. Well, we did help, and what we did is we went to Gary Anderson of Take 5 Salon right here in the uh, KSTP building, and he helped out Jan and us on our beauty makeover. Please welcome Gary. Again, how you doing? Great to see you. Great. Good. Now, when Jan came into you, this is the before picture. This is how she looked. What did you decide to do with her? Well, like she talked about the housewife Hohams, I just basically updated her in 1980, basically cutting it. She, uh, her hair is real flat and fly away, and it's real fine. And uh, what we did was, is we gave her a perm, and uh, as you'll see, it's a little shorter. So what was wrong with this look initially is you just felt it was dated? Too, yeah, it's too dated. It's kind of um, more, to me, it reminded me more of the Farrah Fawcett type thing. And uh, she needed something shorter uh -huh. for her face, too. There was just too much hair. It was too straight and just, um, it hugged her face. It didn't uh, bring out any of her features, like her eyes and stuff. But she really does have beautiful eyes. Well, let's take a look at what happened when Jan went to Gary at Take 5 and uh, take a look at the process of changing her into her new look. Now, initially, 
She says she has these big, beautiful blue eyes. What did you do to bring those out? Okay, she had, um, when we were doing her uh, makeup, well, I see right on here now, we're doing her hair. What we're doing here first is taking and cutting her hair a little bit before I could perm it so that she's going shorter. Her hair was pretty much one length all the way down to about her ear. Mm -hmm. And here we're putting on the makeup now, and she had been used to using blues all the time in her eyes, and she hadn't really tried anything, and we're going to be doing some real pastel colors on her for spring and stuff, which is softer again. It looks as though she hadn't been wearing much makeup before this hour. No, uh, she really hadn't. Um, she had makeup, but she didn't know what to do with it. That was the problem. Spring colors for makeup? Uh, pastels, pinks, uh, peaches, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Here I'm perming her now. We're starting to wrap it up. We gave her just a body wave, a real loose, loose perm, just to give her the body she needed with a little bit of curl. Large rollers. Yeah, real large. We didn't want much. We didn't want any kind of curl or anything in there, basically, at all. Just a, a slight bend to the hair, just to give it the lift. Now, the ultimate here, uh, the final effect, was it something that she could set or do with a curling no, iron? or what? No, she would just dry it. She would just wash it and dry it and let it go and comb through it, fluff it out after it was done. Okay. okay. Now, as you're about to see, this was a major change. And would you please welcome the brand new Jan Ashley of Mound. A change. Yeah. Do you like it? Oh, it's wonderful. Really? Yeah, really? What do you like about it? It's easy. It is updated. Um, uh, I just, it's really easy for me to do. Um, I have two children. One is in school, plus I do some daycare in my home. So I really need the, the easy do. Plus you it is... You have a lot of time to take care of your hair. Yeah. And mm -hmm. like I said, I'm only 29 and I was really beginning to feel 40. Let's take a look at the before and the after right here. <laughs> was that from the four children or from the two children or from the hairdo? That was Just from work. myself. I was letting myself go. Look at the difference here. Isn't that great? Look at me, Jan. We'll get a nice front on. It it's a much more sophisticated look on you. Yeah. But you're right. It does make you look younger, mm -hmm. even though it's more sophisticated. Now, what was the reaction of your husband and your children? Oh, he really liked it, but my seven-year-old son, his first reaction was to look at me, stick his tongue out, and hide his face. <laughs> <laughs> Typical response from a seven-year-old, but he's used to it now? Yeah, yeah. Gary, tell us a little bit about what Jan has to do now to keep this look the way it is today. Um, basically, it's just shampooing it and then combing it. We uh, went off of her collar. She has a, like a widow's peak right in here. Uh -huh. So this area right in here is cut shorter so that, and with the perm in here, it more or less stands up and brings it over. So all basically she has to do is just brush everything back and brush this over around, pull a little bang out. She doesn't have to wear a bang if she doesn't want to, but she, you can see on this picture, she has such a high forehead here that we thought, too, a little bit of softness around there would soften her face up and mm -hmm. make it not look so harsh on her. And uh, just pull it out and basically let it dry. Once it's dry, just take and fluff it out. You can also, like on her today, to make it, the styles these days are not so perfect anyway. You know, they're a little bit more out and um, not necessarily new wave or and punk, freer. but right. And so with a little bit of hairspray, too, you can just pull it out as you're spraying. And that's basically what we did, too, just running your fingers through and spraying it as you go. And you're getting the, the hairspray then at the very base. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's all basic well, she has to do. that's interesting. Hairspray at the very base, and that keeps it away from and the scalp. And that lifts it out. Ah, exactly. Okay. And it doesn't make it so perfect. That's the thing. It'll take it, and it'll make it stand out uh -huh. a little bit. Even for fine hair, you can do that. Good tip. And make it stand out. If you'd like a beauty makeover, we are always looking for people who are interested in doing that. And we're also looking for men. We're going to start doing men as well. So if you'd like a makeover, a whole new look, why don't you write a letter to us and include a picture? Uh, we have hands going up in the audience here. <laughs> what we need from you is a letter, including a picture of the way you look right now, a picture that we can keep. And send that in to Good Company Beauty Makeovers, 3415 University Avenue, Minneapolis, 55414. And we will go over your letter, and you may be able to get a makeover also. Jan, you look great. Thanks. Thank you. And Gary, Thank you. you can find Gary Anderson at the Take 5 Salon, which is right here at KSTP on University Avenue. Nice job, both of you. Thank you. We'll be right back with Dr. Alan Kahneman. Stay with us. What's so exciting about RC100 Cola? Nothing. RC100's got nothing. Nothing, nothing. No sugar and no caffeine. Nothing but taste. RC100's got nothing. It's like nothing I've ever seen. If you haven't tasted caffeine-free RC100... You ain't tasted nothing yet. RC100's got nothing. It's got nothing but taste. Thanks for nothing. 
Have you heard the word on Chi Chi's Mexican restaurant? Our chips there. Incredible. Our dips there. Incredible. Our food is incredible. Our health is incredible. The price is incredible. And what about the good times at Chi Chi's? They're incredible. Just one visit and you'll agree. Everything Chi Chi's does, even the littlest thing, is done so very well. The food, the fun, the people are all one of a kind at the incredible Chi Chi's. I'd like it long. <laughs> you want it short. Long. Short, long. If short, you long, and your short, barber don't long, see short, eye to eye, long, short, maybe you should short, see the barbers short, instead. Short, the barbers will ask you how you want your hair cut. We won't tell you. You cut it too short. <laughs> no, that's plenty long. Short. Long. Short. Long. Short. Long. Short. Long. Short. Long. Short. The barbers. We work with you, never against you. It's March Madness at the Water Bedroom. Our salespeople have gone completely mad. They want to sell a record amount of water beds in March, so they've taken it upon themselves to lower the prices. Sheets, mattress pads, comforters, water beds, and complete bedroom sets will be at totally mad and zany prices. Like the Shiloh, a single-tier bookcase water bed priced at $1.99 complete. Or the Balboa Basic, a tall bookcase water bed priced to sell at just $2.79. During March Madness, finance your water bed at the Water Bedroom and pay no payment for 90 days. The Water Bedroom Superstores, Bloomington, Crystal, Roseville, and one mile south of the North Town Mall on University in Fridley. You tell me what you're hurting. Alan, you are putting your fingernails right into my arm. I don't think you want those elevator doors to open and have everybody see you abusing your soon-to-be ex-spouse. It's not going to look good in court. Ooh. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Alan Quartermain on General Hospital, uh, just one of the many people that uh, Barbara Holmes, our soap talk reporter, will be uh, talking about today. Please welcome Barbara. Thank you. Stuart Damon, mm -hmm. and along with many other uh, soap uh, actors, a long time ago used to have to fight for respect. People didn't really consider them true actors and true talented performers. Now uh, they have these tours, they go all over the country, and you were telling me that even now they're getting into recording albums? Yes. ABC is coming out with a new album that very soon that is featuring ten of its superstars, and each one of them will be singing a song on the record. Erica from All My Children will be singing... Um, Someone to take care of. Someone to take care of me. Do you remember that old oh. one? Yes. And I, I don't know if Stuart Damon is going to be on that or not, but I do know that he has a wonderful voice. And he and his wife have just finished playing opposite each other in San Diego in a production of Camelot. Oh, so he's a very versatile actor. Yes, he is. Well, tell us more about Dr. Alan Quartermain and uh, his fingernails into the young lady. <laughs> <laughs> that was his wife, and they have been battling like that for about uh, five years now. It's a juicy storyline. Stuart Damon's real name is Stuart Zanis. And he was born in Brooklyn, and his parents were Russian immigrants. Now, at first, he decided he wanted to be a lawyer until he got to Brandeis University and sampled theater and found out that was the life for him. But it was his father who really got him into professional theater. His father called a New York talent agent and said, you got to see my boy. He can act. He can dance. He can sing. And he is as handsome as Prince Charming. Interestingly enough, Stewart's first TV appearance was as Prince Charming, in Cinderella, starring Leslie Ann Warren. Now, prior to Cinderella, he had done a number of Broadway musicals. He has a very fine voice, he has a nice tenor voice, but he thought after he did Cinderella that the television roles would roll in. They did not. He was almost broke, he got an offer to go to London, accepted it, and his family was there uh, was for 12 very years. I well was in England for quite a long time, and then I got ill. I was out of the business for about a year and a half, and we were in debt. I mean, we had the bank and everybody else sitting on top of us on a daily basis in terms of the house, and, and they were going to take everything away from us. And the only reason they didn't let us go under, because if we would have gone under, they would have gone under as well. So, but each week, you know, they were carrying us, and that's what we were making more money. The debt just rose and rose and rose, and, and then finally, you know, I got back on my feet. Stuart Damon has been roaming the halls of General Hospital for five years as the character of Dr. Alan Quartermain, who is more often than not battling it out with his wife, Monica. $200,000 is hardly an alien concept, and insofar as doing the right thing is concerned, Monica, you are getting exactly what you deserve, and I revel in it. Oh, I'm sure you're always your most obnoxious when you revel in something. Would you prefer that I chuckle inwardly? I would prefer you drop dead, hopefully of some loathsome, deadly disease. Yes, and then the living trust would be dissolved and you could sell the house. Unfortunately, my dear woman, I must tell you, I am in the best of health. Really? 
You know, it's very funny you say that because lately I've noticed you look a little green. I was wondering if you were having yourself embalmed or just bored. You know, living with Susan, you could be both. Dear, gentle, sweet soul that you are, you want $200,000? Apply for welfare. As Dr. Quartermain, Alan is wicked, mean, and downright nasty. But in real life, he's easygoing and full of fun. Just a second, I'll fix you right up. <laughs> She's fine now, folks. It's a real life soap opera. She'll be great. <laughs> Recently, Stewart appeared on the Family Feud special. He was the captain of the general hospital team, who thoroughly trounced the players of all my kids. Swim. Okay. Swim! Yeah! What do you say, guys? We'll play. They're gonna. Yeah, We're gonna play though. It was a day to remember for Stewart, for his team won over fifteen thousand dollars, which went to a charity very close to Stuart Damon's heart. It was probably one of the greatest thrills I've ever had in my life because to have the opportunity to play with the Juvenile Diabetes Foundation um, was very special to me because my son. Uh, was stricken with diabetes uh, just before this past Christmas and he was very very ill and he's doing just wonderfully well now and I'm so glad and I'm so grateful and, and to have an opportunity on a show like this to play for charity and all the guys and girls on General Hospital said we play for yours this time and then to have come up and won all that money I just it was great. What do you think is more stressful, the first day that you were on a soap opera or being in Family Feud tonight? Oh, no, first day on the soap, I almost died. Oh, gracious me, the pressure of the, when you first come into a soap opera is just unbelievable. You're having so much dialogue, and it's a strange world, and it's a strange medium, you know, working in it. You know, the way that you work and the speed, it was terrifying. It was absolutely terrifying, but now I'm an old vet now. After five years of being one of the most popular characters on General Hospital, Stewart is in a perfect position to clamor for higher billing and more money. But Stewart's approach to his personal life is not one of glory seeking, but one of gratitude and dedication to acting. The young talent agent that Stewart's papa called in New York turned out to be a very famous talent agent whose name is Hazeltine. He discovered the likes of Robert Redford, Raquel Welsh, Elizabeth Ashley, and Stuart Damon. That's it for Soap Talk. We'll be back with more of Good Company in just a moment. Waterbeds, we're having a sale named Frank. Frank's the president of Venus Waterbeds, and as you can see, Frank's not here right now because he discovered the business climate out west had turned cold, and manufacturers have more merchandise than they know what to do with. So Frank rushed off and drove some hard bargains, and now we're passing that savings on to you. Frank's been moving around a lot, but you certainly won't with our latest innovation in waveless waterbeds. Since he's off working so hard, in his honor, we're calling it a sale named Frank. When you think of waterbeds, think of Venus. Your family. When one member has a chemical dependency problem, everyone suffers. Abbott Northwestern's family recovery centers understand the despair, the loneliness, and fear. The family recovery centers also understand the hope and joy that recovery brings. Recovery, it couldn't happen to a nicer group of people. Abbott Northwestern's family recovery centers. We're a phone call away. Call us at 492-3131. Nine premieres, the finest ballet, and distinctly Barishnikov. Mikhail Barishnikov directs the American Ballet Theater in seven performances at Northrop Auditorium. It's classical ballet with the accent on variety, as 89 dancers accompanied by full orchestra present nine exciting premieres, plus the romantic ballet Giselle. See why the American Ballet Theater is called America's top ballet company. For ticket information, call 373-2345. What's so exciting about RC100 Cola? Nothing! RC100's got nothing. Nothing, nothing. No sugar and no caffeine. Nothing, nothing. RC100's got nothing. It's like nothing I've ever seen. If you haven't tasted caffeine-free RC100... You ain't tasted nothing yet. RC100's got nothing. It's got 
nothing but taste. Thanks for nothing. back with Bob Roots. Steve was out of town for a couple of days and yes. Bob was helping us out and we're about to do a segment that you got to pay close attention to. Because now I, that you're a new father. I was looking at a couple of the models we have and I can't imagine how Scotty's going to be when he gets about that size. Of course now he's only about like this. He's know, three but, months uh, old now? Yeah, three months old and uh, he's uh, really goes through the groceries. He's 16 pounds. <laughs> uh, <laughs> really? So no, I went to Florida last week. Went to Florida. You? Scotty went down with training? us. Uh, I was going to leave him home because he was too small, but he says, you don't take me, Dad, and I don't get to see Mickey. I'll never talk to you again. So <laughs> I took him to see Mickey Mouse, and uh, he had a little bikini, and, you know, he laid out and used some copper tone. And got, he's, got a pretty good, he's got a better tan than I have, actually. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. He How about a, spring training? Did he go to spring training and throw a few yeah, with he the went, guys? went to see Calvin Griffith and uh, went to see his first baseball game and, uh, you know, asked how much the uh, players were making, and I said, uh, that's what I want you to be, because all those guys make about $200,000 a year, so we'll... you got to match out player. for him. Yeah. What do yeah. you think, baseball, football, what do you what I don't you care prefer? what he does. I really don't care. The only thing that, you know, and because I'm in sports, everybody thinks that I'm going to push him into... The only thing I want him to learn is a lifetime sport, like tennis or golf or something that he can play. You know, if he wants to play team sports, fine. If not, you know, I thought maybe a concert violinist would be nice. Yes, that would, that, they make some good that money, sort too, of a those change, guys. Right? Yeah. But what we're about to do is show a, a fashion show of children's clothes. We don't have any three months old, but we have some, well, three, I guess, is the magic number to start off with. Because we're starting off with triplets who are wearing some clothes that were made by their mom, who is holding them right now. <laughs> Holding them down. Okay. These are the Goodells. They're from Ramsey, Minnesota. And we have on uh, Mrs. Goodell's lap there is Brianna. And on both sides, Justin and Joshua. They're two and a half, and they are triplets. And what they're wearing are clothes that uh, are made from simplicity pattern 5778. Oh, and there's Brianna. She's wearing, well, it's kind of a jogging. <laughs> She's wearing bloomers with a little mini skirt over it and a little t-shirt on top. And then the two boys are wearing pants in solid black. <laughs> One down and two to go. Pants in solid black for the boys. And they also have little sweatshirt tops on. Now those are a cotton poly blend. They cost... <laughs> there they are on TV. Yes, that's you. Oh. The outfits cost about $18 to make for all three of them. Uh, if you bought them in the store, they'd retail for about... <laughs> for about $45, and they took three hours to make. Oh, everybody's on TV. Thank three you very much. Three hours to make? Is that three hours per outfit? It's three or three hours, hours to get them on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and another three hours to, okay. My Great. goodness. Oh, can you imagine what her life is like at all? I, I can hardly handle one. I don't know how oh, you would handle no. three. Thank you. Just darling. Thank you. Okay, they'll be back in just a minute. <laughs> oh, right on, right on. Those are the canals. Oh, what a handful. Well, we have another model, and uh, this is Mr. Brandon Goodell, uh, six and a half years old, from Ramsey, Minnesota. This is their, uh, the triplet's older brother. Oh, boy, look at that. Is he outfitted? Brandon is, uh, has a royal blue windbreaker on uh, with matching pants, a waterproof nylon uh, cotton and uh, polyester, I guess, combined there, huh? Okay. And uh, it's from McCall's, uh, the pattern number uh, 8537. It costs about $15 to make. If you bought it retail, it'd be about 30 Two hours to make this. That's not That's bad. Not, only two hours. Are you watching this, Laurie, at home? <laughs> I'm buying you a sewing machine. Boy, that, that, that's sharp. I like that. you got a little free time, don't you, Bob? You can whip that up. Two hours, yeah, I, that's I, nothing. I love to relax with a good afternoon of sewing. <laughs> I just I really look forward to that. Well, I don't know. You might want to. How about this? Pajamas. Isn't this cute? This is Bernie Klein. He's from Fridley. And he's wearing uh, two-piece pajamas of cotton and polyester blend. That is simplicity pattern number 9509. What's interesting about this is that he's got a uh, little Velcro under those buttons instead of using the buttons. It just snaps on, or just uh, folds on, really, instead of buttoning up buttons. That costs $10 to make. Retail, it would cost for about $20. And it only took an hour and a half to make those pajamas. I think I used to work with that bird that Bernie has there in Omaha. <laughs> you did. The guy looks familiar. Was your anchor man? Yeah. 
<laughs> and Christina Klein uh, from Fridley. And we're in McCall's pattern, 8391, a pink pullover dress, a cotton polyester blend. Uh, only cost $8 to make at home. Uh, retail at $25. and only took three hours to make. It's like a nice is, little Easter outfit. Isn't maybe, that cute? Yes. For any kind of dress-up occasion. Or actually, I guess it could be casual. It's so loose-fitting. Thank you, Christina. That's you know, very with nice. A, with a cost of... Uh, Christina, excellent job. Oh, yeah, we have another. Isn't this darling? Now, this is a little dress-up outfit. This is being worn by uh, Anique Colton of Bloomington. Anique is 12 years old. This is Butterick pattern 4151 for the skirt and Simplicity pattern 5162 for the blouse. So it's a combination of patterns there. This outfit is 100% cotton. It cost about $15 to make. And if you bought it in the store, it would retail for about $35. It took six hours to make. A little more work in that one with all the detail and the lace on it. But the final effect is just beautiful. Isn't it pretty? Oh, it's just that. Thank you, Anique. I was just going to say, with the, with the cost of children's clothing, it's just astronomical uh, to, to be able to do that in such a short amount of time. I thought it would take a lot more time to do fashions such as those. I know. I'm really surprised, too. And the way your kid's growing. I know. The way he's growing, he'll be in that little jogging suit in about another two weeks. <laughs> about two weeks, yeah. We should mention that there is a special fashion show coming up this coming weekend of uh, homemade clothes for children. It's the Twin Topic Benefit and Lunch Style Show. It's the 19th annual one they've had. And it's uh, taking place, I'm sorry, it's not this weekend. It's March 26th, which is a week from tomorrow, isn't it? It's a Saturday. It's taking place at Jefferson High School. And uh, if you'd like some more information about that style show, it starts around 1130 and goes on through early afternoon, you can call 571 one three four eight and it's a very good uh, organization it's for um help me out it's a benefit for sudden infant death syndrome correct yes so that's where the money goes and it really is a, a worthwhile uh, project we want to thank all of you for being here modeling for us today thanks to your moms for whipping up those great outfits for us you look terrific we'll be right back Between now and April 15th, you can open an IRA and save on your 1982 taxes. And at Merrill Lynch, we'd like to show you how you can make your IRA grow to its fullest. And no one else can help you do that better than us. Merrill Lynch has over 50 ways to make your IRA work harder. More than 50 ways to move in and out of different investments. That way, if the economy changes, your IRA won't be caught napping. So don't put your IRA money into early retirement. Act now. Take your IRA tax benefits before April 15th. Call 1-800-MER-RILL. 1-800-MERRILL. We don't want you to be one of those Americans who will look back on their IRA one day and say, George Washington slept here. IRAs by Merrill Lynch. A breed apart. 1-800-MERRILL. Land the Lakes margarine tastes dairy fresh because it's made with fresh skim milk. I told you you're going to like it. Land the Lakes margarine from America's number one butter maker. Preschool screening can give you new and valuable information about your child's health and development. Any Minneapolis or St. Paul preschooler three and a half or older is eligible for this free service. In St. Paul, call 738-6950. Minneapolis, call 348-6760. What it is. We are back. We like to say that the uh, Twin Topic annual fashion show that we talked about just a moment ago is taking place at the Marriott in Bloomington, not at Jefferson High School. That's a correction there. That's taking place on the 26th of this month. And we are about to announce another Super Bargain. Have you been around Super, B. Super Bargains? Did they name that after me, Super B? No. <laughs> oh. Was... No, but it could have. Super Bargains. I love Super Bargains. Have you taken advantage of any super bargains? No, not yet. Not yet. I was going to take advantage of the silk flowers, the fake flowers that we had that looked real. Oh, right. 
But I didn't get a chance to get out and do it. Well, maybe you can get, you need so. some new glasses? Yes. Okay, yes. well, we got one for you today then on these glasses. This is a super bargain that's being offered to us from Elements. Uh, we went out to the Elements store. They have three locations in the Twin Cities, and we went to the one which is in St. Anthony, Maine, which is on Main Street in Minneapolis. They have locations, uh, St. Anthony, Maine. They have a store at Hennepin and Lake, and they also have one at the Burnsville Center. And it's a store that specializes in contemporary home furnishings and accessories. They have a lot of glassware there. They have placemats. They have sofas, you know, so big items to small items. And what they're offering, our good company viewers, is a French working glass, 14-ounce tumblers. Now these glasses usually sell for $1.50 each, but they're available today and tomorrow only for 75 cents a piece. Um, while supplies last, they have 3,000 glasses in stock, so they should last, but we must say that. <laughs> while supplies last, they are 75 cents each today and tomorrow only. There are the three locations, St. Anthony, Maine, Hennepin and Lake, and Burnsville Center. And these glasses, you know what's wonderful about these things? They are so strong. I was just wondering where, I guess that's why they get the term working glass, because it's the kind of thing that you can you know, bounce around a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'd try that if I were you. Well, we're not selling the liquid, just the no. glasses. So. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, it looked like they'd be good. Yeah, so that's a good deal on glasses. And we have uh, more Super Bargains coming up next week, Monday and Wednesday of next week. We're going to be announcing a Super Bargain Entertainment bargain for adults, also one for children, also some more meals out, some more groceries, uh, and some services, some good deals coming up. So be sure and watch for those. Well, I, I love when I'm on the show and you have Joe Carcioni because I'm introduced to so many new fruits and vegetables that I've never had a chance to experience. Like and what? I've got, well, uh, we had, uh, just, well, I thought we were talking that it was a Brussels sprout, but it wasn't a Brussels sprout. Oh, the artichokes. Artichoke, artichoke that I've never had before. Today we've got... Big Brussels sprout. <laughs> yeah, big Brussels sprout, you know. <laughs> Today we've got uh, papaya. Joe Carcioni, our green grocer, has some tips on how to pick out a ripe papaya. At this time of the year, papayas are on the expensive side. So when you go to market, you want to be sure that you get a good papaya. Now, folks, there's only one sure way that you're going to get a good papaya. That is if you could go to market and select one that is nice and firm and yellow all the way around. That's a good papaya. And when it gives just a little bit like an avocado, that's the time you cut it in half and enjoy it. Now you go to market sometimes and you may find one that is breaking in color. By breaking in color, I mean it's not fully ripe all around. This is a good papaya. Take it home, put it in your kitchen where the temperature about 65 or 70 degrees and in about three or four days, it'll be completely out of this world. Now folks, one thing you don't wanna buy as far as papayas are concerned is one that is green all the way around because I'll tell you one thing, at least 50% of the papayas that are green skin are not going to ripen up. They're going to develop spots all around them. Some of them will, will even get rotten in the nose end or the stem end, and that's certainly not good. Now remember, folks, this yellow-colored papaya, that's a good one. This one that is green is not for you. Joe Carcioni, your green grocer, with your tip for the day. Oh, that's interesting. Now, I have bought them in the past green, hoping they'd ripen up. Obviously, I was, uh, there was no hope for me. I would have known a papaya from a pineapple. Uh, would You've never had a papaya? No, I, I haven't. Uh, we, have a, we have a plate here of uh, papaya, and uh, if we can get a shot of the plate, I'll tilt it up a little bit so you can see it. And uh, uh, I really like this. <laughs> it no. kind of tastes like a strawberry. <laughs> mm. I think this I mean, is the papaya in the middle. Oh, here, I see. I yes, see. Uh -huh. it's not the green ones. It's not the oh. red ones. It is. And the... it is yellow, like he like he yeah. said. Is it? <laughs> what do you think? Kind of gets between your teeth, doesn't it? It's an interesting taste. <laughs> <laughs> How diplomatic of you! You hate the papaya. Why? Well, I, no, I don't hate it. It's just sort of. Um... It's, it's papaya, I guess. I don't know. It's just... <laughs> it, has I, a, it has a kind of pumpkin taste to it, doesn't that's it? That's what I was trying... That's exactly what it tastes like. And the strings kind of get caught up in your teeth, don't they? You're, that's exactly right. What a it wonderful like taste a treat. <laughs> no, it does. Pumpkin. Can you make a pie out of this? Papaya pie? <laughs> It'd be a great name, wouldn't it? Papaya pie? I've never heard of papaya pie, but I bet there is a recipe. If anyone has a recipe for papaya pie, <laughs> please send it in to Bob. My goodness, I think... Uh, I wonder if you can substitute strawberries in the papaya pie recipe. I don't know. It might taste a little better. I'm, no, I... 
Probably well, I, Joe doesn't have one. Obviously, like. Joe, you will never talk to me again. But uh, no, I think the papaya is good, and uh, it's it's a different taste. And you know what? This is going to be good as the summer goes along, and we get towards warmer weather. Boy, that's when I really love to have fruit to get the big bowls of fruit out on the back porch, you mm -hmm. know. And we'll sneak a little papaya in there for you. Maybe we'll get used to it. Yes. I yes. understand we have some information yes, about where you can get papayas in the Twin papaya. Cities. There we have them. Apple bombs, $1.69 a pound. Country Club, $1.49. Uh, $2.39 a piece at Fresh Promise. And at the country store, $2.49 a piece. So uh, I guess they're about, they were about this big. Mm-hmm. Those so, are imported okay. items. I'm not sure where they come from. The <laughs> tropics somewhere. <laughs> so, uh, you, we'll split the papaya and I'll have the strawberries. All right. No. That's the deal. When we come back, we're going to be talking about the auto show. You were telling me about a car that's down there? That's right. They have a car at the auto show. I was reading about it. Uh, that's They say is like a 1995 car, and it's almost totally electronic. It has uh, a computer mapper in the car that, that shows you where your car is going and how far you've progressed in your uh, uh, trip. And uh, it has... Uh, 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 airlifts on it or whatever so that when you park it it lowers the car down to the ground so that uh, it's harder to steal the car and then when it's time to drive it it raises it up so you can drive it so uh, uh, oh, they have that along with uh, you know 1983 models and I'm sure just about anything concerning uh, automobiles that sounds like that new that new TV show where the car just drives by itself Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Another network, I'm sure. No one yes. watches that show, but I've heard about it. <laughs> anyway, we'll be right back with Gary Lumpkin going to the auto show. Stay with us. Coming up next week on Good Company, on Tuesday, we'll review a Twin Cities restaurant that serves American food in a 1930s atmosphere. On Wednesday, our Minnesota Memories will feature a special trip through the past as we relive the great Minnesota Railroad era. On Thursday, we'll take a Minnesota getaway to the birthplace of Sinclair Lewis, Sauk Center. Coming up next, Gary Lumpkin takes us to the Twin Cities Auto Show to see the newest and hottest in cars for the future. Stay with us. It's a good day for pizza. The Italian pie shop is ready. Come out and enjoy their number one rated pizza. We've always got room for... At Venus Waterbeds, we're having a sale named Frank. Frank's the president of Venus Waterbeds. And as you can see, Frank's not here right now because he discovered the business climate out west had turned cold and manufacturers have more merchandise than they know what to do with. So Frank rushed off and drove some hard bargains and now we're passing that savings on to you. Frank's been moving around a lot, but you certainly won't with our latest innovation in waveless waterbeds. Since he's off working so hard, in his honor, we're calling it a sale named Frank. When you think of waterbeds, think of Venus. Evita, seven Tony Awards, including Best Musical of the Year. Good seats available. Phone 339-1800. With prices of department store shoes what they are. That much? If someone could sell those same brand names for less. How much? Too much. They'd be famous. We are. We're famous footwear. With the same brand names department stores carry, but at better prices. Much better. I just saved $30. Discover the same brand names for less at Famous Footwear. Finally, a shoe store that fits the times. Listen. You'll hear from us live from the Minneapolis Auditorium Saturday, March 19th. It all starts at 9 that night. The 1983 Lions Telethon for Hearing. You're going to hear from us. Welcome back. Uh, I should mention that the papaya uh, was provided by Fruit Baskets Unlimited, so we thank Fruit Baskets Unlimited, and, and if you have any extra strawberries, you can send those in to me. No. <laughs> the papaya was... I, I, somebody in the audience said the papaya needed to be a little more ripe, but we'll have to try that again. 
We were just talking about the auto show that's going on at the Minneapolis Auditorium. If you've never been to an auto show, they're really a treat because you see all kinds of things from present cars that are out on the market to uh, some cars from the past to cars of the future. It's, it's really an interesting thing if you've never been to one. And the 1983 auto show uh, has, will be going on in town at the auditorium this week. Our field host, Gary Lumpkin, visited the auto show earlier this week and uh, gives us sort of a preview in this report. This is the 10th annual Greater St. Paul Minneapolis Car Show taking place right now in the Minneapolis Auditorium. And it's bigger and better than ever. Because, you know, car manufacturers go to great measures to promote their automobiles. But the question is, what really sells a car? Is it glitter and splash? Or maybe people come to enter all the contests and giveaways. On the other hand, since most car manufacturing executives are men, there could be another force at work here. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 1983 Minneapolis-St. Paul Auto Show. What do you like best about the car show? Just all the new cars, all the new models. It's a darn good show, best show in town. What's so good about it? Just a lot of cars, a lot of people. Excuse me just a second, may I ask you what brought you to the car show? Oh, what brought me? We had coupons for a dollar off. <laughs> what do you like best about the car show? Uh, best. I like the girls. I really do. No, actually, I, I like the new cars, I like the to see uh, uh, the new styles and, and uh... It's too late, we already know you like the girls. Okay, all right, what can I say? Well, for whatever reason people came to the car show this year, they're seeing all the new models with all the new features. For example, stuck on the freeway, crowded conditions, take the rotating rabbit and get up, up and away. And speaking of new options, the folks at Chevrolet have designed this one for all of us who've tried to squeeze into a very small parking place. Push a button, and you lose the first half of your car. I guarantee you, you can park this baby anywhere. And speaking of options, this is the Buick Questor, and it's got some options that aren't available now, but will be in the future, including this laser key. Now, you press this button, and it not only opens the door, but the car raises up so it's easier to get in. You get in, the seat reclines, and once you close the door, the seat, the steering wheel, the gas and the brake pedals, even the radio station, automatically adjust to just you based on this information and this key. Amazing stuff. A lot going on at the car show. We'll see you next time. I've got to have one of those cars. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Uh, the show will be going on at the Minneapolis Auditorium uh, from 5 to 11 p.m. today, from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. on Saturday, and from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. on Sunday. For more information, you can call 871 one nine two seven and while you're at the auditorium on the other side of the auditorium is where the lions telethon for hearing will be taking place so you can come over and see me and marcia fleur and, and a lot of the other stars that we're going to have there we'll have a big time and raise some money for charity so if, if you happen to be down there and the admission is free to the telethon so if you want to come down and join us please do car show going on at the minneapolis auditorium uh, for the next three days in just a moment we'll be back with more of good company supposed to be a desk job, but I never stop walking. Alice, bring me the Watson file. Alice, go get me some coffee. I don't know how I'd survive without my Payless shoes. They're so comfortable, and everybody says they look great. Alice? I know, I know. Start walking. Right now, save on these women's shoes. On sale for just 9 to $12. Payless Shoe Source. You could pay more, but why? I can't believe it. I'm shocked. I'm surprised. We didn't tell the people at this country fair which was which when they compared the taste of Golden Griddle, a blend of four delicious syrups, to pure maple. 
I like this one better. I've never tasted golden griddle, and if this is it, it's very good. I will buy it. Flavor's a lot richer, and it is more mapley tasting. Of all the leading brands, only Golden Rich Golden Griddle has a unique blend of four delicious syrups for its great taste. The taste that beat pure maple. We'll be using Golden Griddle from now on. Wild well, Minnesota's annual spring sale is on right now. Terrific savings, eh, Ken? You betcha, Jared. In a wide variety of wallpaper, buy three rolls and get the fourth free. Wow, buy three and get one free. That's a real wallpaper bargain. Yeah, but listen to this. Buy two Del Mar window blinds and the third is free. And the Midwest's largest retail stock of paneling starting from $2.96. Wild Minnesota's annual spring sale. We're the value givers, direct from the factory to you. Things we hate by the New York Giants defense. We hate quarterbacks with their sneaky little tricks. And we hate halfbacks who block us when we blitz. We hate most everything. But we love that's delight. Refreshing that's delight. That little touch of lemon makes it taste so right. Yeah, we hate most everything. But we love that's delight. That's delight. It's one calorie men love. That's delight. Welcome back to Speaking of Sports. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Bruce is here filling in for Steve Edelman, who's at a programmer's convention this weekend. Sure he is, in Las Vegas. Sure he right? is. Okay. Uh, no, that's where he is indeed. So we were just But he'll be back Monday, right? He'll be back Monday, Good. indeed. Yeah, we were just talking about sports and what's going on in the season. I think it might be interesting to people to realize that you're the person they hear giving the sports every night, but you're also the person directing the crews going all over the place and deciding oh, who's actually going to be I, on the... I cannot take credit for all the... I, I have uh, nine excellent people that work for me, yeah. and I should list them all, but... But, but Bob is sports director. <laughs> but they, but they help out tremendously. And this is a big weekend, too. We're fixing to talk about things coming up. Uh, something that uh, we should mention is that uh, the hockey gophers play the University of New Hampshire in the quarterfinals of the NCAA hockey tournament at mm -hmm. Williams Arena tonight and tomorrow night. So that's, that's just one of many things that's happening this weekend. It seems, uh, just watching sports, it's changed so much. Last night watching you, the first two stories on the sports were both women. Uh, women basketball teams and that seemed very different I remember when there was no such thing as women basketball teams being covered by major sporting uh, major sports departments I can remember when I graduated from high school at the sports awards banquet there were no girls teams at all period yes that's there true. wasn't one yeah and uh, in just you know five years later <laughs> since my graduation uh, there it has been oh, tremendous isn't that amazing how the world changes <laughs> yeah anyway if you're not gonna be watching sports this weekend it is time for now playing because there are a lot of things going on around the Twin Cities that we'd like to tell you about movies opening this weekend first of all there's a movie starring the man who has female hearts just pounding all over America Tom Selleck from Magnum P.I. is in his first feature film it's called High Road to China and it's just about to open in the Twin Cities in it Tom Selleck plays a World War One flying ace and a female, a, a, a young American woman comes to him and says that she really needs to get out of China because the war is starting, so he agrees to fly her out of China. Well, as you can tell, it's an adventure story, and they develop a kind of love-hate relationship during this process of trying to get themselves out of the country. In the scene we're about to see, Bess Armstrong, who plays the young American woman, and Tom Selleck had been shot down in China uh, in uh, enemy territory. At least Selleck thinks that that's why they've been shot down, because he's an enemy flyer. In fact, that may not be the case. Hold it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Bess Armstrong and Tom Selleck in High Road to China. That looks, I don't know, that looks kind of good. I like both of those actors. I like, oh, yeah, I love Tom Selleck. I like high adventure movies. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the next movie that we have, another mo new movie that is out, is a little bit different, uh, different theme. Uh, John Voight. Uh, you'll recall from uh, Academy Award performances and uh, Coming Home and uh, Midnight Cowboy. Uh, he's in a movie now called Table for Five, and it's about a, a, a husband who has been divorced from his wife, uh, and they have some kids, and now suddenly he wants to reunite with his wife and his kids. Unfortunately for him, uh, she has remarried. The children have grown to love their new father, so as you can see, the plot... Uh, really thickens and uh, in the scene that we see here Void is telling his ex-wife uh, that he wants to rejoin them and be part of the family again but she doesn't really like the idea I want to come back into their lives this cruise launches a new me Kevin. as far as the children are concerned I know I've let you all down but I'm ready to make a comeback that's what this is all about slow boat to China sort of thing so we can all sort of get it together I don't think any of you has ever seen a good side of me Don't do this. 
don't make promises you can't keep. They love you the way they have you. Vacations, phone calls on birthdays. You're a lovely man, James, but they learn not to rely on you. You take them to the pyramids and let Mitchell take them to the dentist. Well, as you can see, it's really a, a grabber. A table for five, rated PG, is playing at the Southtown and Brookdale East Theaters. So, looks like a good movie. It's rated PG. Mm -hmm. Is it? High Road to China was also rated PG, by the way. If you'd like to uh, go to some live entertainment this weekend, there is a special performance of the Minnesota Dance Theater going on tomorrow night at Northrop Auditorium. It's a major fundraiser for the Minnesota Dance Theater, and it's titled Tribute. Uh, it features three major works of ballet, one that's been choreographed by Balanchine, and two by the Minnesota Dance Theater's own Lois Holton. It's an entire evening of dancing, and it should be spectacular. Uh, it would be a great opportunity to support one of our, one of our local uh, cultural institutions. Minnesota Dance Theater has, has been around for a while, and we hope it'll be around for a whole lot longer if we all support it. If you'd like some tickets, call 375-2987, that's Dayton's, or you can call the ticket office, 373-2345 at Northrop Auditorium. As I said, that's tomorrow night uh, at 8 o'clock at Northrop. Something a little different from dance, uh, the Osmond Shrine Circus. Oh, One of my all-time favorite things, the circus coming to town this weekend at the Civic Center in St. Paul. And as you know, with any circus, it's for the whole family. Everybody loves it. I can't think of anybody who doesn't like going to the circus. And it's got the usual things for you. Trained elephants, uh, they've got jugglers, uh, and of course, uh, clowns. Uh, really, you can't have a circus without clowns. Uh, they are just fantastic. Trained monkeys, high wire acts, you name it. Uh, uh, King Arthur the Lion is there. King Arthur the That's Lion? That's right. It's right here. And Rix's Bears, the largest bear act in the world. And if you want uh, more information about tickets, you can call the Civic Center ticket office at 224-7403. It only lasts through Sunday the 20th, so uh, don't waste any time deciding whether or not to go. But it's really a great show. Good. Lots of good things to do over the weekend. We'll be right back. Terrific chicken and rice. Terrific chicken and rice. Terrific chicken and... Where's the rice? Not so terrific, Mrs. Lamont. It came out wrong and took 25 minutes. Should have used minute rice, but perfect rice every time in five minutes. Minute rice always turns out right. Always fluffy, always light, always delicious. Perfect every time. Now your dish is going to be perfect in five minutes. Minute rice. Perfect rice in five minutes. Smell that fresh bread off the Donahue. Dorothy can penetrate this stuffy dose, Mrs. Barry. This can? Hall's mentholiptus. Uh-huh, with vapor action. Hall's vapor action penetrates deep into clogged nasal passages to help your stuffy nose feel clearer, while Hall soothes your throat to help your cough. Hey, you were right. About the bread? About the Hall's. For penetrating relief, get Hall's vapor action. And try sugar-free Hall's, too. You know, our new fissure-reduced sodium nuts are a great addition. Yeah, all the flavor with just half the added salt. Reduced sodium nuts. How are we going to sing about that? We take our reduced sodium nuts very seriously at Fisher. We take half of the salt. We bring you all of the taste. With, with Fisher-reduced sodium, yum, yum. Yes, we take our new reduced sodium nuts very seriously at Fisher. Fisher. Sure. Good afternoon. Good news on the inflation front. Consumer prices last month rose just a tenth of a percent, thanks in part to dropping energy prices. President Reagan says it is truly dangerous and a giant step backward into an economic quagmire. He is referring to the Democrats' budget proposal, which also drastically alters the president's defense plan. And jury deliberation is scheduled to resume on Monday in the Zolly Green trial. Green has taken ill. We'll have more news at 5 o'clock. We are back, and uh, before I get into some of our special announcements, uh, announcements, I want to mention that the Loman High School FHA group is with us today. Thanks for being with us, ladies. And also, we have some special announcements. Darson Phillips of the National Federation of the Blind, you have something special going on. Yes, we're sponsoring an employment seminar a week from this Saturday, March 26th. It's an all-day workshop. It'll be running from 9 in the morning till 4 in the afternoon. 
It's sponsored by the National Federation of the Blind and its J-O-B program, Job Opportunities for the Blind. Now, this is going to be at the Holiday Inn downtown, Minneapolis? Right, right the Holiday Inn downtown. It's free. It's open to the public. Um, there'll be panels and various types of things. And just for further information, 332 five four one four thank you darson and john Dahl, who is with parents without partners what do we have going on john well we're quite excited on sunday we're going to be meeting in many of the uh, dales to get new members and it's an opportunity for all the single parents whether you're divorced or separated or in the midst of becoming divorced uh, to join and find out about parents without partners what about uh, for information? Uh, I think I have a number here, 5711769. Right. That can be called anytime. Even better than that, they can check the personal column in the Sunday paper any week. In fact, there's always something going on. Thank you very much. Parents yes. Without Partners, John Dahl. And the Interfaith Tea Group is with us today. Uh, Nan Mountain, uh, you have a special function coming up? Yes, we do. We have the our, uh, 28th Annual Interfaith Tea. And this is an ecumenical event. It's sponsored by the St. Paul Deanery Council of Catholic Women, the St. Paul Area Church Women United, and St. Paul Benet Brith Br Br Women. And it's being held at the Church of St. Leo the Great at 2055 Boland Avenue in St. Paul, Minnesota, March 22nd, Tuesday. Thank you very much. Okay. Chair? Coming up on Monday's show, we are going to have a hair fashion show. We're going to take a look at the latest in hair for spring. Come on up here, Bob. Say goodbye to the people. He's <laughs> crawling up here. <laughs> Thanks for that little show, Bob. Uh, that was incredible. Let me get my coat back on. That's for, <laughs> That's for all those people who doubted whether or not you were really athletic. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, you know what we were looking at? That is about Charles Hicks. He's an exercise expert, and he is teaching men how to look like that that we just saw. Obviously, I can look. <laughs> Whoa. Also, also on Monday, medical specialist Dr. Michael Green is going to be here to tell us about a disease that can cause baldness in three days. Thank you. And Steve will be back on Monday, Steve too. Steve will be back on Monday, but I'm sure enjoyed Thank today. Thank you. It's fun. Thanks Have a good weekend, everybody. Great. See you Monday. Number one pizza. We've always got room for you. The Italian Pie Shop on Yankee Doodle Road.